Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we will study about the KQL activity in Microsoft Fabric. KQL stands for Custo Query Language and we have an activity in Fabric for execution of the Custo Query Language management commands. So here is the official documentation page of Data Factory documentation under Fabric. It states that the KQL activity in Data Factory for Microsoft Fabric allows you to run a query in KQL against an Azure Data Explorer instance. We have to execute KQL against ADE instance, Data Explorer instance. So for this purpose, we have to have an Azure Data Explorer instance already in place. Then the prerequisites is to have subscription workspace created for Fabric. And then we have the details about how we can do it in Fabric. Okay. So first of all, we have to see the Azure Data Explorer instance. For this purpose, in the Azure portal, I already have Azure Data Explorer instance, which I'll be showing now here. So this is the Azure portal where we have Azure Data Explorer database. ADX underscore database. The name of the data explorer is test cluster function app. And in this database, we have a table called table one. If we click on run to see the contents of the table one, we have here four columns and it has two rows. Okay. This is the content of the table. So this is the data explorer and the database table, table one, which we are going to connect in the fabric. Let's go back and go to the fabric and into our workspace cloud knowledge data factory and create a data pipeline. So we'll go to the data factory section, click on data pipeline to create a new pipeline. We'll name this pipeline as PL underscore custo query language management commands. Click on create. Here at the top, we can see the name of the pipeline and this is the canvas in which we are going to create or add the pipeline activity. We'll click on add pipeline activity. We'll go at the bottom. Under the transform section, we can see the KQL script or the KQL activity. We'll click on it. It will show up the KQL in the canvas. The first section is general where we have the name, description, activity, state, timeout, retry. We'll leave it with the defaults and go to the settings section. Here we have the data stored type as workspace or external. In our case, it is external because we are connecting to the Azure portal, Azure Data Explorer. So we'll leave the data stored type as external. Next is the connection where we have to create a new connection between the fabric and the ADE present in the Azure portal. We'll click on plus new. We'll wait for a few seconds. Now the page will load here. And the connection settings will ask us to give the cluster name and the database name. The cluster name here, it is written that the name should be HTTPS, then the cluster name dot custo dot windows dot net. So we will write it in this format https cluster name dot custo dot windows dot net https we have the cluster name if we go back explorer instance here we have the cluster name as test cluster function app we'll copy and paste here dot custo dot windows dot net okay this looks fine. If we click on sign in here, it will give us unexpected error region USFR. And as we know that the fabric product is continuously evolving, this error might not occur in future by the enhancements done by the internal team. So for now, we have to add the region as well of the data explorer instance. Let's go back to the data explorer 
here we have the data explorer database and if you open this in web ui it will open up this page and this page will have the cluster details dot the region of the cluster which is east us from the main page as well in the overview if you go we can see the location as east us the way to write will be the cluster name dot east us so we'll write here after app dot east us okay now we can see after writing this this it refreshed the page refreshed automatically we'll click on sign in again and this time it will prompt us to select the account through which we have logged in to the portal the fabric portal okay this looks fine the connection credentials are stored in the connection and we'll click on OK. Now in the connection, we have selected the Data Explorer database. We'll select the database now, which is present in the Data Explorer. Only one database is there, which is ADX underscore database. So we'll select that. As we have seen here that the database is ADX database and the table which is present inside it is table one. So this is done. Then comes the command section. Specify ADX control command. Note that for async command, ADX will pull the operations table on behalf of the user until the command is completed. In such a case, the result of this command will be the result of the dot show operations. Okay. And here we have a section learn more. If you click on this, we have management commands overview section. This is the KQL management commands. And if we go down, here we have Custo uses three mechanisms to differentiate queries and management commands. At the language level, protocol level, API level. At the language level, the first character of the text of a request determines if the request is a management command or a query. For management commands, it must start with dot. That's why if we go here in the command, in the command, it shows up the prefilled text as dot show tables take five. Okay. So here the dot signifies that it is management command, not the custo. Okay. So if we go further down, so if we go down here, we have few examples. So let's take the example dot show tables count. Just copy this command. It is used to count how many tables are there in the database in scope. Okay. So we'll take this command paste here dot show tables count the count it will give. So we have given the command, the command timeout. We'll leave it as is. We'll validate the pipeline. It looks fine. There are no errors. We'll click on run, which will ask us to save and run. It's saving the changes to the pipeline. And the pipeline KQL MGT commands is executing. In the output section, we can see it succeeded. So here in the pipeline execution, in the output, we can see the input we have given as the command dot show tables, line change and command that is count. In the output, it has given us the count of the tables, how many tables are present in the database. So it was one because we have seen here it is one because we have seen here that the ADX underscore database has table one. Okay. If we go back here in the command and here we can just say show tables, show table and the table name will give table one. So using dot show table and the table name, we are trying to display the contents of the table. We'll just run. We'll click on save and run. Pipeline is executing. It completed. Yep. So here, if we open up the output, it will show up four. If we go to the cluster here, data explorer cluster, we can see that there are four columns. Okay. In the columns, it, it will show up the value, the attribute name, the first column attribute name was header three. The column name was header three. The other details of this column. Then the second column name was no 
NO, that is the number. Third column name skill and the fourth experience. So skill is the attribute name and experience and the other details of these columns. In similar way, we can explore other management commands using this KQL activity in Fabric. Hope you have got the basic understanding of the KQL activity and the command execution in Fabric. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in comments if you have any queries. Happy learning. Bye.